Hello. Hello. Uh, ha- Hi, my name is David. How are you, Mr. Robert? I'm okay. How are you? That's great, God bless. I'm also great. Thanks for asking, Mr. Robert. You know, this call is about final expense insurance plan, which covers you at 100% of your funeral and real expenses. So, may I know how old are you, what's your age? I'm 79. 79, that's great. Your wife is so pretty young. 481 four, zip code, is that correct? Yes. Oh, okay, all right. So, Mr. Robert, how you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is spelled R as in Romeo, O uh-huh. as in Oscar, uh-huh. B as in Bravo, E as in Echo. Romeo Oscar, right? Romeo Oscar, right? That's right. Then B as in Bravo. Oh, okay, all right. E as in Echo. Okay. R as in Romeo. Oh, okay, all right. T as all right, in Tango. All right, all right. And my All right, Mr. Romeo, I have just... Mr. Romeo, I have just done here. I have my senior supervisor with me on the line, so I'm going to connect your call, and he will provide you free of cost information about final expense insurance plan. Okay, Mr. Romeo, it is free information. All right, stay with me on the line, okay? Okay. Uh, hi, good morning, and thanks a lot for holding on. My name is Jeff Brown from Verification Department. Hope you have a great day so far. Well, I woke up this morning, and I checked the obituary section of the newspaper, and my name isn't in there, so I'm grateful. All right, that's great. Well, actually, you just had a few words with my associate. And as you know, we are providing free information on this new final expense program. Uh, so you can just compare the prices and benefits. Only if you like any plan, you can go for it. And due to any reason, if you don't like it, there is no cost, no obligation to you at all. So just to confirm, you are 79 and you're residing in Michigan? Yes! All right. So let me just introduce you to a licensed agent in your area who is going to get you the details on that as the rates are now dropped down there so you can check the rates and benefits uh, for this new life insurance program. And then you can make up your mind on that. Will that be okay for you, Robert? Yes. How do you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is pronounced Robert. My last name is pronounced Grinnell. The other person uh, wanted me to spell it, and I did it with the military uh, alphabet, and he couldn't seem to understand. All right, I got this. Robert Grinnell, right? Yes. All right, so let me introduce you to an uh, agent in your area, and they will assist you further on this new life insurance program, sir, okay? Okay. There we go. They will be with us shortly. Just a moment, please. Goodbye. Hello? Yeah. Oh, looks like the agent doesn't want to talk to me. Hello? 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 Hello, my name is John. I am calling from US Saving Center. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Fine. The reason of my call is that you know that the state has just updated your life insurance benefit and because of the good credit resource, you have qualified for some extra additional benefits. So first of all, I want to make sure. How old are you? I'm 79. Okay. And do you have any do you have major or minor health issues like pneumonia, COPD or any disability? Well, I have syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, testicular cancer, HIV, herpes, genital warts, and I have a reptile dysfunction. Hello? Hello? Hello. 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 Hi, this is Kavita. I'm calling you from Student Loan Forgiveness Center. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? 
I am good and thanks for asking me. All well, this call is to inform you that you may successfully qualify for a 60 to 80 percent relaxation on your student loan. All right. Okay. So first of all, sir, tell me, have you received any kind of update regarding this forgiveness from the Department of Education? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? I did not quite understand. So have you received any kind of update regarding this forgiveness from the Department of Education? No. So that's why we are reaching out to make you aware about your forgiveness for which your loans has been qualified. All right? All right. So I will be now sending you all the information on your email. So can you please help me out with the email ID? My email is R is in Romeo. O is an Oscar, B as in Bravo, E as in Echo, R is in Romeo, T as in Tango, O is in Oscar, M as in Mike, E as in Echo, R is in Romeo, G as in Golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E as in Echo. L is in Lima, L is in Lima, at symbol, G is in golf, M is in Mike, A is in Alpha, I is in India, L is in Lima, dot, C is in Charlie, O is in Oscar, M is in Mike. Okay. Okay. So do you have any outstanding student loans? Yes. Okay. So I'm repeating your email ID. It's R O B E R T O M E R G R I N N E L L at gmail dot com. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Let me check. So this email ID is to register with FSA. Do you have any alternate email ID? Your uh, FSA email ID? You're you're asking me for an email ID. I don't quite understand. Okay, sir. So what's your last name? My last name is Grinnell. G is in golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E is in Echo, okay. L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay. So just for the age verification protocol, can you please help me out with the date of birth? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day. Year of Our Lord, 1942, when I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. Okay, so can you repeat your month and day, sir? So December 25, 1942, my mother said that okay. I was a Christmas gift to the world in the middle of a world war. Okay. Okay. So who is the loan services? It's a Sally May. Okay. So just for the state ID verification protocol, can you please help me out with the social security number? My social security number is, and let me get my glasses here. I want to be sure that I give it to you right. My social security okay. number is 027 two four one nine two two okay let me check sir hello hello
Hello. Hi dear, this is Carol with Senior Benefits. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I'm calling to let you know for new local final expense insurance plan that has been approved in your state. So I just confirmed that you are in living state of Michigan, right? Yes. Okay, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, may I know, by the grace of God, how old are you? I'm 79. Okay, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, may I know your zip code? It's 48126. 43126. Okay, so, sir, how do you pronounce your first and last name? Well, actually, the zip code is 48126. One, two, six. Four, eight, one, two, six. Okay, so sir, how do you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is pronounced Robert, and my last name is pronounced Grinnell. Can you spell me your last name? It's spelled G as in golf, R is in Romeo, I is in India, and is in November. And is in November. E as an echo. L is in Lima. L is in Lima. Okay, that's perfect, sir. So, sir, congratulations. You are perfectly qualified. So, my license agent on the line. She will use this further. If your contact information is listed and you do not call list, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. By the way, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Like the uniform of Darth right. Vader Not and the right state right of my color. soul. Okay. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Okay, please stay with me. My license agent coming with a few seconds. Please stay on the line. Okay. I look forward to speaking okay. with the licensed secret agent. Okay, sir. Hello, this is Haley Maricol, I'm speaking with. My name is Robert Grinnell. Robert? Yes. What's the last name? Grinnell. Grinnell, okay. How you doing today, Robert? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing great, so Robert, my name is Haley Merrick, and I'm a licensed underwriter. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions to determine whether or not a final expense plan will make sense for you and your family. Do you have a final expense policy now? No. Like your funeral? Are you interested in getting something set up that would leave money behind for your family to pay for your funeral costs? Yes. I want enough money so I can be buried instead of cremated, and I want my tombstone to say, I told you I was sick. Okay, well, you're looking at at least ten thousand okay. dollars. Okay. That's that's. So the premiums on our policies usually fall between forty dollars and one hundred dollars per month, depending on how much coverage you select. Is somewhere between forty and a hundred dollars something that would be affordable for you, Robert? Yes. Okay, great. So what we'll do is gather some information from you, ask you some quick health questions so we can give you an accurate rate. I'll search across all the top rated final expense carriers and share the three best options that will provide your family with the most money at the lowest cost, okay? Okay. Now, we don't require a medical exam like or well, blood draw like most companies do. However, there are a few things that all expense carriers require from you to be able to take out a policy. One, you must verify you are who you say you are with your social security number. Do you have your social security number to give the carrier a pre-final plan that makes sense for you today? Yes. Let me go get my glasses. Take a few moments. So, my social security... I'm going to call you back in school. I'll go get your glasses, get your social security number and your checking account. And I'll call you back in two minutes, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye.
Hello. But well, Robert, did you get your glasses, your checkbook, and your driver's license? And your social security number? I told you I would call you back. Well, I have my social security number and my checking account. You wanted a driver's license too? You're going to need that only if we find a policy, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and get started, okay, Robert? Okay. So we know you need about 10000 And what state are you in? Michigan. Okay. And you're a male? Yes. How old, how old are you? I'm, I was born a poor child. Christmas Day, Year of Our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. So how old does that make you if you were born in 42? 79. Okay, 79. Okay, and are you a smoker or a non-smoker? Well, I smoke crack cocaine, crystal meth, marijuana, nicotine. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. My name is Daniel, and I'm calling from Medicare Health Center regarding your Medicare benefits. I hope you're having a good day so far. Yes, I woke up this morning and I looked in the obituary section of the newspaper and my name wasn't in there. Hello? 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 Oh, hi. Yeah, this is Chris and I'm calling you from American Benefits. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank you so very much for asking. Actually, the reason why I'm calling you today is to let you know we've got uh, new rates approved in the state with the lower premium and the maximum benefits regarding final expense insurance plan, which will cover 100% of your and burial expenses. So, uh, if we can show you some options which you can afford easily and that's under your budget regarding final expense insurance plan, I'm sure you would at least think about it, right, sir? Yes. Right, so, sir, uh, just to make sure that uh, your phone number with me is 313-334-0106, right? Yes. Right. And, sir, uh, you are from, uh, you are in Oak Park with a zip code 483237? No, I'm in Dearborn at zip code 48126. Four, uh, sorry, 42186? No, 48126. All right. And, uh, 4826. Yeah, 4... How old are you? 48126 in the town of Dearborn. Uh, sorry, I didn't get it. Okay, we can do it one at a time. So four, eight, one, two, six. Four eight one two six. Yes. This is your zip code. Yes. Right, and sir, uh, for the verification, how old are you? I'm 79. 79, got it. And sir, you make your all decision by yourself, like your financial and your health decisions, right? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Mo Lester, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Got it. And sir, uh, right now we are offering multiple coverage plans. So which plan would you like to know more about? Like 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 
twenty thousand or twenty five thousand? I want ten thousand so I can be buried instead of cremated, and I want my tombstone to say, "I told you I was sick." All right, and sir, um, right now you don't have any major health condition, then you are not uh, into any. Um, Hospital, not in a nursing home, right? Well, I have syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, testicular cancer, HIV, genital warts, herpes, and I have a reptile dysfunction. Oh, God bless you. All right, and uh, uh, I'm speaking with Robert. Robert yes. Greenell, right? Yes. Right, and uh, Robert... Um, if you, I mean, um, you have an active bank account, right? Yes. Right. So, Robert, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get you connected with one of my licensed agents so that they can give you the information about uh, the plans that we have in your area. All right? Okay. So, uh, I'm just connecting the call. All right. I look there forward to speaking with the licensed secret agent. We're sorry. Your number is in our do not call list. Goodbye. Oh, it sounds like they oh. don't want to talk to me. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I have uh, no idea why. Sometimes. All right, Mr. I mean, uh, I'm trying to connect your call, but I mean, they are busy talking to the other uh, customers. Okay. That's why it's not uh, going through. All right, so I'm um, just uh, trying to reconnect the call. All right? Okay. And, uh, yeah, and it will take a little bit uh, longer than usual. More usually, they don't take long time. But sometimes when they are talking to the other customers, you know, they uh, sometimes take a little bit longer time. Okay. But, uh, I'm just, but I'm just connecting the call. All right. It will be a matter of moment. All right. So, here we go. The line is transferred once again. Okay. Oh, I heard a swoosh sound. Uh, well, that was uh, my computer's uh, voice. I mean, nothing oh. to worry. The line is... Uh... Yeah. All right. Uh, do you know how to use my Oh, I don't hear the call center anymore. Is anyone still there? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm still trying to get you connected with my okay. license agent. But it, it looks like uh, they are not available here, so, sir. Um, right now, I just wanted to ask you one thing. I mean, uh, if you decided to have a coverage, how much you can afford per month? Oh, I could probably afford about uh, $100,000 per month. Okay. All right. So, sir, uh, what going to happen is, uh, as right now, I'm not able to connect you with my license agent, so my license agent will give you a call back. You can write down his number. That is 512-333-5555. Uh, okay. And, uh, and his name is Nigel James. He will give you a call back and will provide you the quotes, all right? Okay. So that's all from my side, Robert. Uh, have a lovely evening. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.